Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today is a video that I did not plan on filming, but it's all everyone is talking about. It's a lot of all I've been thinking about, so I felt like it would probably be an appropriate thing to make a video about it, which is the coronavirus. Yay! Yay! So in the last 24 hours, it went from, ooh, you know, this virus is spreading and it doesn't have a huge, like, death rate or anything, but people are freaking out and, like, let's just all get on with our lives. That was my perspective on it. This is an opinion piece. <laughs> to all of a sudden, my campus has closed, so all of my classes went online, um, which is something that, for me, I'm very frustrated by. Like, I get it. I'm... I understand why we're all doing these things to a certain extent, but it's also very frustrating because for me, it's like the things that I'm learning are way better learned in a classroom with my professor. It's not something that easily can be put online. So we're working with it. It's happening. It is what it is. We're accepting it. Um, but yeah, so my, my campus closed, um, Disneyland closed, all of the sporting events have been postponed, my birthday plans are going to shit, um, I was originally going to go to a movie festival I go to every year, but that's been postponed until June and I won't be able to make it because it's during the time frame that I will be in Costa Rica, which I'm not planning on, on canceling. Um, I have plans to go to an escape room for my birthday, I don't know if we're going to do that anymore, I'm waiting to see if I can cancel and get a refund for everything. My grandma didn't feel comfortable traveling so the birthday plans that involved her are canceled and postponed until June, July. So like just a lot of stuff has suddenly changed. As of right now I'm still going into work. My my department has one person that's able to has been given the green light to work from home so she was working from home as of the middle of uh, this last week, but as of right now, me and my other uh, co-worker who do the same thing, we haven't been given the green light to work from home yet, so we'll still be going into work as of right now. Um, but it's just, it's a lot of weird, you know? We went to dinner tonight, me and Matt went on a little date night to California Pizza Kitchen, and the, there was nobody in the restaurant. It was crazy like there was one person in each server server section my best friend bailey who i do the girls who gab podcast with there was an announcement about it you should go check out the podcast it's awesome um she's a server though and she's definitely been feeling the pains of lack of income um yeah there's a lot of a lot of stuff especially in the last day that's really happened and like, I went to Vaughn's yesterday to get wine. And the lines were wild. I think we stood in line for, like, 35 minutes to buy a few things. There was lots of people in line with, like, whole grocery um, carts full of cleaning supplies and things like that. I went and took a look at all of the different... Um, aisles to see like what was low because I was curious and all of the cleaning supplies were really low I needed um like the soap that goes in the dishwasher and I di was able to get one but there was only like one brand left and there was no jumbo bottles which is what we usually buy so like that was gone toilet paper was gone as expected um and yeah it's just it's like this really weird time happening right now and I'm having I'm definitely having a hard time like wrapping my head around the fear, like the concern about the coronavirus, because from what statistics I'm reading, it doesn't seem like it's much worse than the flu. And so some of the things that I have seen and stuff is more about like the, the flat and the curve thing, which, okay, I can get behind on that. Like that makes more sense to me, which is mostly just like trying to slow down the virus so that those who do need medical care in the event that they get sick, um, the hospitals will be able to support the amount of cases that they get. Um, so like I get that. And then like the social distancing thing, which is 
social distancing thing, which is like trying to slow the, the virus by basically not being in crowded areas like Disneyland and sporting events. Um, so all of that is making a little bit more sense to me, but I also am, am hearing and like getting the feeling that a lot of people are really afraid of like getting sick, but most people are going to be fine even if they get it. And there are people who it would be a concern for and that's very valid and like I hope that everyone who is possibly going to be really affected if they do get sick like immunocompromised people and older people and stuff like that that we're we're getting information about like that I hope that they are taking the precautions they need I just feel like there's a lot of people who don't need to be taking those precautions that are and that's what makes me nervous like us all going and buying 40 cases of toilet paper like why why <laughs> Uh, there's also like huge lines at gun stores right now, which is really the thing that freaks me out. Uh, people going out and buying guns because they're scared <laughs> is scary. That's what makes me nervous, the most nervous. Um, Matt was talking to me about like his big fear is just like we live in a big city and so if there is this like panic hysteria and if it gets worse, then that's kind of scary. Like the idea that people might start like rioting essentially um that's really what freaks me out more than anything else um but I'm kind of just taking it as it goes I'm trying to be really calm about it and like not hope for humanity I'm I'm hoping that humanity will prove me wrong and that they won't do crazy shit and I'm also hoping hoping that this goes away faster than I think it will like I'm hoping that I'm hoping right now my school for example like is planning on close being closed until April 20th which is the start of our spring break because our semester goes until June and I'm hoping that we'll be able to go back to school following spring break. I'm hoping that it won't be that long. I'm hoping that by the time my our trip to Costa Rica is planned to be, which is mid-June, that everything will be fine and dandy again. Like there's a lot of things that I'm hoping will be fine. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It's definitely definitely giving me like some anxiety I spent a lot of yesterday crying um there's just like crazy people like people the reactions of people all over is really a lot to handle for me and I don't like it <laughs> and I'm really hoping that in a year or more or in six months or something, in a certain amount of time that's undesignated, we will look back at how we reacted to this and laugh at how insane we all were and how like overreact reactionary we were. Like how, I mean, people who are my age or younger probably don't remember a lot of Y2K cause like I was seven, but um, like people went crazy during Y2K thinking that the world was gonna end basically because it was gonna, hit the new year, like the, the new millennia, like all of the technology was going to go down, you know, all that crazy stuff. And so I'm really, I'm really hoping that like when we get past this, we'll be able to look back and be like, Jesus Christ, what were we thinking? You know? So that's what I'm hoping for. That's some of my thoughts. We're all in this together. Keep calm and make sure you're taking the self care stuff that you need in order to remain calm because it's a weird time right now in the world so that's the video i hope you guys enjoyed i don't know how you would enjoy it i don't know but i hope that this gives you maybe some peace make sure to subscribe to this channel i make videos every tuesday and thursday over here i also have a bookish channel that's down below if you want to check out things that i've been reading and such like that i make videos over there and my new podcast with Bailey is also linked down below. We're posting every Monday. So as of right now, we have two episodes out. So if you're interested in having some extra entertainment since everybody's home, uh, go ahead and take that time. I know there's a lot of kids out of school too. That's making me really nervous. I didn't actually touch on that because it doesn't affect me personally, but there's a lot of kids who don't 
the schools, like K through 12 schools are closing down. So then there are parents who have kids at home that need daycare and so that they can continue working because their work isn't closed yet. There's like all of that mess. Like, what are we going to do for our economy? That This is concerning. There's a lot of stores that aren't getting the type of like customers that they're used to. So like what, what long-term effects are we going to find from this? Are we going to go into a recession because people were afraid to leave their homes and because people had to stop working and so then they don't have the income and all this stuff like what are we what how are we gonna fix that so that's a big concern too that I really am freaked out about I think that's actually my number one concern I'm very worried about long-term effects of economy stuff definitely making me nervous Anyway, it's going to get off of this now. So I hope you guys feel like you have somebody with you going through similar things. And I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!